what's going on guys sophisticated here bringing another fizz gameplay video today we're in the mid lane we are up against an ari of course as per the usual the little scoreboard is all jacked up here i think our top laner i, I think ours is all fixed let's try and fix the enemies here all right they're all fixed too so yeah we're up against an ari i do not feel very soft about this game unfortunately our karthus was hovering kane and his kane got banned and so he pretty much said locked in karthus and said i farm no ganks uh carry me and and that he has zero percent win rate on anything other than kane so does not feel super good and then our bot lane was also kind of arguing about their champion select lucian wanted this guy to go like a nami or a leona and instead so he ended up going teleport so we'll see how this goes hopefully this guy doesn't get invaded too hard i might have to throw a ward down over there by his red buff because i could absolutely see belveth like just going in on him Nice, she's, this is a very like high level RA too. Ooh, I messed up. I had thought I had my E leveled, but I guess not. Yeah, she's got like a hundred, like 190 mastery on Ari, which is crazy. Ooh, that's gonna hit me. Yeah, that's gonna proc the electrocute. I was hoping she'd at least take damage from the minions, but she really did not tank that much damage from the minions. I mean, we're not farming too bad. Actually have a decent amount of farm against her here. Eh, that was a bad E. I should have just been a little bit more patient. I am eating a lot of poke, but she's eating some minion damage as well. I'm going to come up here and just ward this guy's stuff right now, because I just have a feeling that this Belvath is for sure going to invade him. I'll throw that there, so at least if he does invade him, he has a heads up. I think I lost a little bit of XP there, though, doing that. But if it can save Karthus, I'll say worth. We'll let the Ari push us in. Try and catch the waves under the tower as best as we can. We should be able to with our W unless I mess up like that and don't reset it. All right, there we go. I think she'll probably just reset. She doesn't have TP, but she might just look for a reset herself. If I'd have leveled my Q, I would have got that. She, yeah, she might get a little cheater recall, but she might. she's going to end up missing out some C CS and XP off of that. But yeah, she will be coming back with an item advantage over us. But it's all good. We're actually going to have a little bit of a CS lead. And hopefully we can build up a wave too. So that way we can potentially not get ganked. I also might look bot too if I can build up a big enough wave. Because their bot lane is pushing pretty hard it looks like. Nice, we're dodging out on those. Ooh, on everything here. It's huge. Did not get the reset on W though. Yeah, I see Lucian's already... Pretty upset. I'm walking into these. Yeah, I might be able to make a little play here. They're not even low. I can maybe look for it though. Um, I can't do it myself though. Can I ignite this guy Q. Should get him right here with my follow flash. Nice. And then we'll just back off. I don't want to keep going. It's huge, though. Get the kill on them and get the uh, flash out of their support. And Karthus is covering my lane. Pretty huge. I'm going to push this back into Karthus because he got a kill up there, too. A fed Karthus really can 1v9. So let's hope he does that. Wave pushes under my tower, but I'm actually going to collect the wave here. I don't even get the chunk too hard. Yeah, I can't fight him. She, he, this guy has to just back off. If he doesn't die there... That's huge. I am down in XP a pretty decent amount, but it is what it is. I went down there and got a nice little kill. Helped out our bot lane a lot. We're only down 2 CS, though. My little ward that I placed for the boys coming in handy. I don't think she can 100-0 me even with the charm, so I think we're good here. Ooh, how do we die there still? Well, I mean, it is Illusion with a TP. At least he can get back to the lane pretty fast. Grab that, this, and then we can't grab two of those, but we can grab this, and then a sweeper as well. Control ward. That was a really just overall goodbye. I mean, he can TBA back to the lane, and at least Thresh got that kill, so that's not that bad. All things considered. All right, we're running back to the lane here, boys. Not too bad. Karthus has a nice little lead going here. What are they doing? Are they doing Drake here? I'm definitely not going to just let that happen. I'm going to come throw a ward over here. 
because if Belveth is trying to take it early, like this early, might be able to kill her. Nice, all right. She's not sneaking it. Arya is level six, so she has a slight advantage over us. Well, more than a slight advantage. But yeah, she has a nice little advantage over us. Ooh, she stopped me. No, she did not. She chucked me, but she did not stop me from getting the cannon. Although Karthus might be in a world of hurt if they can test that at all. I'm just going to go ahead and ping that this guy is level 6. I cannot help him at all. Like, if Ari just walks over there, that Karthus is for sure toast. I like what he's doing. But, yeah, I don't think we can contest that at all. I think we get two of them. I can't help him, though. I'm not level 6. That's all him. At least he got killed before Ari came over there, which is good. Or Yone, so no one got any KP there. And it relieved a lot of pressure off my lane. Now I have level 6. Nice. And I got her ult and her ignite. That's huge. She's not going to have anywhere near as much kill threat now. Ooh, she might be dead off of that as well. Yeah, she dies here. Oh, no. I died to the charm. Oh, that is so bad, man. I lost vision and died to the charm. If we didn't die there, that would have been so incredibly good for us. She's unfortunately like a full level up on us. Parthus is farming strong. So is the Belveth. I'm down about 10 CS. Nasus is hurting pretty bad. He's got an assist, but he's hurting pretty bad. Only 35 CS. About 84 stacks, though. I don't think that's bad. I don't know if that's super good. Eight minutes into the game, but it's not bad. Try and catch up on XP here. That bot lane roam was good, but it still kind of took us down in XP there. I don't know what this guy... He's playing really passive now. Ooh, he's got a lot of wave clear. I wonder, are they low here? They are low. This could be a good roam opportunity here. And a counter gank into a dragon. I really want to fight this. I think we can kill her here. Just gonna ignite QW through her, hit her with an auto. I think we need to do the dragon here. I'm gonna lose a lot of pressure to this Ari. She is going to be way stronger than me. If Ari comes, we're toast. We have to take this thing out. As long as she's on the mid lane, we're fine. I really don't want to be tanking this, though. Like Arthas tank it because he gets health regen. Look for a fish on this guy. We can start something, maybe. Can we just do this? Does this guy not have smite? He doesn't. Or he does. Oh my goodness. Just use your smite, bro. Oh, he doesn't have smite. That sucks, man. Why are we going for it then? That sucks real bad. We gave so much here mid for that play. I don't even think we kill this. Yeah, she just dashes away. She might be able to kill me. Ah, I can't. I don't have my mana, unfortunately. I used my flash. She wasted her flash as well, but I think our bot lane is probably going to go down there. It sucks. It's pretty much worst case scenario. This guy did get a kill. I got a kill, but yeah, they got uh, got the dragon. Let's grab that. Not worst case scenario, but pretty close to it. Because Zari's doing really well. She's farming very well. But yeah, super fed Karthus can absolutely win us the game. And Nasus perma scales. Lucian's pretty good, but. Sivir's for sure going to hard outscale us. So we don't want the game to go too long. And I think Ari scales about as good as us as well. Just going to be hard into the Sivir matchup, really. Like securing kills because of her spell shield. Well, that's gank at top. I wonder if I can go up there and maybe... I just don't think this guy's strong enough to really look for a fight. No, he's dying by himself. Going for the play, but I think he should have just probably, uh... Ooh, he's going. I'm coming here. Kite to me. Kite to me. Kite to me. If he kites to me, we might be able to get him. Nice. That's such a big roam for me. That's going to help out Karthus or uh, Nasus so much in his own lane. 
Obviously, I get a kill, but Narthus or Narthus Nasus gets the stack for free now. Hopefully, this guy doesn't die here. I think he's probably going to. I don't see a way in which he survives that. I don't think I can kill her here. She's too fast for me. Yeah, she's got red buff and blue buff. I'm coming, brother. I'm trying, anyways. She's gonna blast herself away. Ah, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, that sucks. Karthus just walking up to her brave and like that. If he just didn't die there, like, that was such a big roam for us. But he obviously dies there. Gives her a lot of gold there and pressure. What's this play? Okay. Maybe she gets a shutdown over to Lucian, though. I'm just going to try and hard shove this and, and reset. I did get a plate there, so it's not the worst. But, yeah, Karthus just gifting her free kills is definitely not the best for us either. I mean, I might be able to sneak a plate here, actually. Yeah, I sneak another plate. I mean, I ping in this guy as much as I can. He for sure. That's all you, Karthus. She's going to for sure come for him, but maybe not. Maybe she just sits here and tries to re stop my back. That's fine with me. Karthus is getting grubs. This is a bad roam for me. But I'm going to go. I think the boys need me. That lands still. Yeah, she's toast. Um, ah, that sucks. If I would have got that kill, it would have been real nice for the stacks. But, I mean, we still get a kill over to Lucian. Boost his ego up a little bit. I really need to reset. Um, yeah, I need to be. I can't really do anything against her here. This is all I can do. This guy's going to die here. I, I have no mana. I can't cast a single spell. Thank God. Thank God. Well played, brother. I can't really do much here, though. I can't shove fast. That healing shield Drake would be really good for us. Because we have a Sona. Not sure where their jungler is. I don't think I can really push this out too fast. Nah, it's going to be so slow. But we absolutely have to do this. If we don't do this, we miss this cannon wave. We want to try and make Ari miss a little bit, even if she doesn't miss all of it. Alright, I have Lich Bane here. I'm super strong. I'm going to buy another Control Ward just for the potential dragon fight. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, this should be a free dragon. If our bot lane comes, it should be free. Nasus is killing her under her tower. Ooh, good flash by her. I have a control ward. I want to set it right here. I'm going, brother. I'm going. I'm making sure you don't get one shot by the Ari. Ari could be top. She could be looking jungle. But since this guy's safe with uh, going doing it himself, he's pinging me off. I'm just going to come to the mid and farm it up. She might just be sitting under a tower, yeah. She's probably typing to her teammates. Let's see, who is their jungler to Belveth? She has the damage reduction, so it's very hard for me to, like, sit in a bush and try to bush camp her. And then Ari's not going to walk in that bush either. She looks like she's just going to sit back behind her tower, which is fine with me. I'll just farm it up and scale like a monster. They have a lot of squishy players on their team. I think I'm going to look for a little QW trade here. Let's poke her down a little. Look for fish. Ooh, got her ult. That's good. Oh, she's kind of working me here. Ooh, flash. Do I die? I die to the ignite, but we get the kill onto her. So I'm going to say not the worst. Um, let's go with this. That was nuts. We tried. I think if I had Triumph, I lived that. Um, it really sucks. Like, our buy point, we're basically just kind of stalled out here. This Karthus is getting so lucky that the enemy is just not coming to the pass, yeah. We would need Nasus to rotate here at this point. But Nasus is unfortunately getting all in here. I'm going to double E just to get to this fight. 
Seems like a pretty huge fight to be at. Um, I feel like Ari's just gonna bust in here in any second. This guy uses damage reduction. I'm just gonna all in him. If I had all right there, we would have just killed everyone. It's all good though. We can pressure this tower super hard. Ari's bot lane. It's a free mid tower here. The game is going pretty well, lads. And if this Thresh steps up, we go for him. We have six grubs this game with immense like tower taking potential here. We absolutely want to push our lead while we can. I think we just go for this big guy. Just auto the tower here. I have Lich Bane, but I'm still don't. Not, I don't have a lot of damage just yet. I'm working on his Anyas. Although if they leave me in this bot tower too long, I can put in some massive work. We're down about 30 CS, but we also have six KP. She only has three. I'm gonna say pretty worth in that aspect. I feel like we should be able to 1v1 her in the side lane as long as I hit the ult and have mana. They're probably coming to me, either me or top lane. No one's shown on the map, though. It's very scary. Yeah, there's the Belveth. I have to be very careful here because Ari and Belveth for sure can kill me together. Let's see, is she top? No, she's... Yeah, that's what makes me think even more so that she's in the spot lane if she's not top fighting with them. She might be AFK too. Might have rage quit or something. Let's pick up Rift. It's all G. Kind of a bad Dragon Soul here in this game, in my opinion. On, nope, Ari has not AFK. She is still here. She did lose like three waves worth of XP and gold right there, though. I wonder if I can kill her. She doesn't have two items just yet either but she i would have to hit the ult like combo her super fast so she's not able to uh like ult away don't think that's possible though about to have my sweeper i really need to see where they have vision lucian's looking for some tricky plays i really don't think it's worth going for her that close to her tower but they might catch her right there going for them let's get a sweep she's like got to be right back here right around this area that red buff will not go to all of us just yet because it's not 20 minutes in but we should be able to pressure this tower i don't get her ult there kind of funny i'm tanking i'm fine with that though i've missed the ult i think if we get the ult we obviously kill her it's all good though we should get this tower here kind of sucks that we're going to be splitting the gold but it is what it is you really want to have multiple people in lanes. I don't think we all needed to be in that bot lane there. I want to push this wave in the next one. Oh, we just missed the cannon. I would like it if Sona did not stick right around me because I don't want us to be splitting all this XP with her. All right, if we get this next dragon, that's pretty huge. Just blast this over so Belveth has to jump over if she wants to come contest. I'm going to be watching her because I can just dash around her. She's so weak right now, 1-7. I'd be able to 1v1 her. Just with Lich Bane. I think I want to reset, though, before doing Baron. I have 1,200, so if I sell my pot, I'll be able to get a needlessly large rod. All right, we'll back out by that. I think I'll just answer bot here. Nasus is farming up nicely. He's actually got a CS lead now. 426 stacks. That's crazy, bro. That is a lot of stacks. I think that's really good pacing. Big fight here. I think it's not going to go well for us. Yeah. Lucian was super deep. Might be bad for the rest of us, too, because they can kind of just chase off of uh, Sivirol. Uh, it's probably not worth to fight there. I wanted to, but I don't think Karthus wanted to fight. I'm just going to sit here. I might be able to kill the... Sivir, she doesn't have Thresh here with her. Ah, she's full health. Wow. Okay, just kidding. That was a prank. Good fight by the enemy. They got a nice little uh, shutdown, I think, there. I mean... I'll try and scare her. Wow, I could have au actually autoed her. Maybe even caught her slipping and killed her. But I trip. But she's not here. We could fight this. Yeah, we could fight this for sure. Yeah, she's dead here. 
I'm looking for the Delveth more so than anyone. We can kill this guy now, too. He's dead here. I get one auto on him for red buff. I got my Q on him, too. I'm gonna just to stay alive here. And then we go do this. I'll let him chase and do what he's gonna do. I'd rather grab the Baron with my team. Actually, I don't even need to grab it. They should just be able to shred it. We killed their jungler and their top laner. I just answer this wave right here so we can push with a wave. Because I don't think we have Zhonyas. We do, actually. Yeah, we reset here with the Baron. Grab our Zhonyas. That's going to be so good. So we just used it, right? So they're not going to be expecting us to have it up. I think Lucian's going to TP bot. Nice. Get some good pressure here. Nasus does not have TP. But by all rights, we should win this game. I mean, I feel like we outscaled him. The only one who probably scales just as hard as we do is uh, the Sivir and the Yone. But Karthus is going to be dealing that damage to everyone. So we'll Sivir, but it's gonna, yeah, I think, we, I think we're in the driver's seat here. This guy's got to be careful and let us pressure here. Like, aggression is good, but he has to wait until we have people, who, you know, pressure in these other lanes. And as long as I keep them busy here, I mean, she's kind of shredding me here right there. But Lucian should be getting the bot lane tower, which is huge. Dude, this this chick does so much damage. Man, Lucian, come on, brother. Ah, uh, we can't even help him. Yeah, I'm not sure what the Lucian's doing there. I'm creeping it up a bit. I mean, I almost killed him there. I think I just reset here. I think we just back here. I'm pretty low. I don't want to give over a shutdown either. We just reset, grab that needlessly large rod, and become so much stronger. Thank goodness that Sivir didn't get that, because I think Sivir's the only thing keeping them in this game. And it was over under the Belveth. So now she's not only is she worth money again, but she's the one who got the extra gold. Super good for us. Um, I think I'm a lot stronger than the Ari. I'm two levels up on her, but the Sivir is for sure very strong herself. I think I just roam right over here. Although they could for sure have vision here. I want to go for this Belveth. She's not really very strong at all, but there's the... Ooh, almost. It's definitely worth a, a attempt there. Let's see, they might... This Lucian just has been going so ridiculously ham. I'm going to catch her here. I don't think I can kill her by myself. Actually, I can for sure. Really good, too. We got Dragon in 50. She's down for 40. So we should have a lot of pressure off of that play. And then, obviously, I get to farm another wave. Arya is still only level 12. We're like 14 and a half here. Um, I need 2350. Rush looks like he just got a nice hook on someone. I still have Baron, so these minions are going to be pretty strong in case someone does come to contest me. I think Nasus has Baron, too. But they're fighting, so I want to push this wave as fast as I can. I'm not so much worried about joining the fight because my team should be stronger, right? We're 23 to 13 kills. I'd rather just secure this uh, inhib here. And if we triple inhib, it makes it like makes the game basically free. Look for the Sivir, because she's the only thing keeping them in the game. Um, might be bad for me. Alright, not too bad. We, are, we do have some waves here, and they have two people dead. I can one-shot this tower, potentially. Alright, we bailed here, we bailed here. I can't stay. She did just get a bunch of resets off of that. I think I just bail out this way, and I'm fine. Nasus is killing people back there, so... I'll reset and then come here. Triple inhib. It's huge. Um, I think I sell this and grab this. And then just run straight down here, try to help this guy. With me and Sono's little movement speed, we should be able to do it. Well, this guy's gonna die here potentially. Yeah, I need to just keep Ian on cooldown here to try and get to him. It'd be a tragedy if uh he died or they stole that or something. Nice. Triple inhib. Yeah, we definitely do Baron as soon as it comes up. And I st still don't have a whole lot of damage. I need to get the uh, death cap. Hopefully she doesn't steal this. She needs to kind of leave me alone. Bro, go away. Go away. 
I really just want her to not be around me. I don't know what she's trying to do. If she's trying to steal this or what. Like, go de-war. Go do something. Like, just leave me alone, brother. Let me sit in the side lane here. I'm very strong. 183 CS here. Might even, yeah, she just used one of her dashes. I think I just kill her here. She's toast here. It's actually a pretty good kill, too, because Baron's up super soon. Just getting all the pressure that we can right now is very good for us. So if I'm pressuring in big waves here that Sivir has to answer, she can't be, like, answering or contesting Baron. And then we can grab Baron. And, I mean, we could basically end here. They don't have Belveth. We have triple inhib. We just all want to close in on someone. This is a big E here. Even if I don't kill with it. Yeah, I'll go say Karthus will kill. Let's go, boys. There it is. All right. Fizz mid versus Ari. Take it to after action after this. All right, fellas. This is the after action for the game we just played against that Ari mid. And yeah, this was a great game for us. Like, from start to finish, we had a couple bad deaths. But all in all, like... I felt like our lane phase was pretty solid. We wrote, got a really nice early roam down bot lane. Got ourselves a kill that did kind of set us behind in XP. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd like to say that we had a pretty solid game all around. We farmed pretty well. 195, nothing crazy, but, you know, seven a minute, which is pretty on average with everyone here, even the enemy team. And yeah, we had some pretty decent damage, fit around 15,000. We outdamaged the Ari, outdamaged the Belveth, you know, both of their carries definitely were pumping out a little bit more damage than me. This guy had 270 farm, so he had... You know, almost 100 CS on us. But, yeah, overall, very, very solid. I, I am super surprised that our Lucian did as much damage as he did with uh with Teleport. But, hey, I'll take it, boys, however we can get it. So, now we are sitting at 31 LP. Um, We're getting around 22, 23 LP per game. So, if we can get one more win here, we will actually be ahead uh in terms of LP from where we were when we lost three games in a row, which were, like, these three games. But, um, but yeah, fellas, if you enjoyed that video, drop a like. If you're enjoying the content, I really do ask you to consider hitting that subscribe button. Helps push our content out to new people. Helps us grow the community and get discovered. And, yeah, stick around for the next video.